All right, welcome back, folks. We are back in this is the moat, and we're back at uh, in Michael Deering's Hardcore Challenge for October 2015, the Enemy uh, Territory Challenge, and this is day eight. I'm my day counters one off there. Speaking of which, let me go ahead and reset and start my timer here. All right, and I uh, looked up. I actually have two days left to go, which is nice. I have uh, this recording and then one more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this lumber and go up there and build. That's my goal for today. Uh, I was thinking about it. I think as long as I block this area up, I think I can get away with leaving this down here. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time fixing things up down here. Uh, I think I can kind of get away with leaving this stuff here as if somebody had come and uh, sort of abandoned it. So I'm going to do that. We'll take out some of the torches, but not all. Uh, and we'll take out some of the wood, our, our last set of lumber here, and keep it going. So let me just clear a little bit of this here, primarily so that we can see down here. Now, if you guys have not been following the whole series, of course you have, but just for those, just in case somebody hasn't, uh, Michael Adirian's Hardcore Challenge. We are playing on the Hardcore mode. Our, this is a actually a build challenge, just to build something interesting here in this location. And I am building a little spy hangout way up there. Right there. You can see the glass, so I'll be able to watch. So, that's what we're doing. Let me take care of a few of these. I'm actually probably won't even stick around for all the, the drops. As long as there's no creepers floating around, I'm good to go. Oh, really? Uh, good. Okay, there's some dirt. We'll take us. We we'll get this wood primarily so that we can see the ground when we're up there. Uh, make it look not quite so organized. Head up and build, build, build. That's the primary goal for today is to cut out as much as we can up there. I saw some very good suggestions for using lava or uh, redstone torches for lighting up top. I forgot. I really haven't checked around to see if this is, if I'm alone or not. Okay, except for Bob. I'm okay. Uh, Bob's uh, one of my guard bunnies there, right there. Um, and those are great uh, suggestions. I don't have time to get down to uh, redstone layer to get uh, redstone for the torches and still build something up there. So uh, we'll do that. I don't think there's any. I don't know of any lava off you know, to hand right now. I need to make a new pickaxe. That's all right. Uh, don't know if I have the tools for it. Let's see what else do I want to. Do. I'm going to leave that guy. I won't take him down. Um, so I think I'm just going to build a light baffle. Uh, up in that area. I'll show you that in just a minute. And so that we can need the actual torches and the living area will be behind uh, behind a wall that hopefully you know, if I get enough dirt and doorway and all I can make it kind of hidden. But we'll see. Alrighty. Now my goal is to be up. I'll take these just because. I can grow plenty of these up in the um, here, dum -dum. Take that all um, and grow trees up there in the in the uh, cave if I need to. I feel like I'm hearing a zombie. Sorry. All right. Can I get you without having to? Don't want to build another to axe just for the one tree. Let's see. All right. Good. All right. Oh, apple, yes. Definitely going to grab that. Don't have a... My food situation is okay, but not uh, fantastic yet. And... Go ahead and grab those. All right. Can leave these trees here. Is there anything else I want to take from down here? Uh, I think I'm set. I can leave everything in there. All right. I'm just waiting to see if we get any more... I collect all the wood I can, though. Um, any more apples or uh, good stuff? All right, and then this is going to be my last time down here. I think I will go ahead and take up some of these torches. Not all of them, but 
make ah, uh, thank you. Can you use the apples, but uh, make it look like an abandoned homestead, maybe. Just a normal old Steve was work was. Oh, look at that! I'm just getting lucky now. In the first few days, I didn't get an apple to save my life, literally. And here they're being very kind to me, so that's good. Oh, hello! And look who we have here. One of their spies. He's been up there for a while. Well, that's all right. We'll have to just hope that uh, he falls to his doom before the army gets here. So my mission is uh, taking off spruce leaves. I realize not. So these are all spruce now. Uh, my mission is that army headquarters or military headquarters received information that the enemy would be uh, setting up camp in this very location. I realize if I'm going to have the fiction that uh, you know that a regular Joe, regular regular Steve was up here, I might as well leave this cavern open. Um, I'll leave that dark. I have plenty of coal up there. If I don't, I can go mining for it. Uh, and the, but we received headquarters received information that this uh, is going to be this future site of the army, the enemy's army. My job is to spy on them from up there. I'm going to leave this area as a um, kind of an abandoned little. Uh, Steve Village. In fact, hopefully that creeper over there will not realize what I'm doing. Uh, so we'll take some of these out. And I will act as if I'm leaving for good. I've picked up all my stuff. He'll see me. Um, I guess I can leave those there. Just in case I ever come back down. And uh, we'll take up some of these. So Bob and Bob, be good, okay? And if you hear anything, let me know. Um, all right. We should have some friends spawning in here pretty soon. Uh, so that's Bob and the other Bob. And they have been my watch bunnies. You guys have done a good job. As soon as you get carrots, they're yours. If you hear anything new, let me know. Uh oh. Got friends coming in already. We're going to head up. Excuse me, let me take that torch out. Thank you. And, uh, whoop. still have that Enderman floating around. Maybe zombie. But I believe you are in there someplace, so I'm not going to worry too much about you right now. As long as I don't look at that Enderman, I think I'll be alright. Alright, I think that's going to be enough. You don't have to make it pitch dark. It just looks like somebody who left. Alright, so hopefully that creeper over there will think that I've taken off. And, uh... That zombie doesn't know who I am, I hope. So let's go up here and build. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Almost there. too much of my presence here. So take that. Uh did I put any more out here? I can't remember. I don't think so. Alright. That. Any over here? Yeah, this one. head up into here, seal ourselves in, and be gone from the, the valley. All right, there you have it. Let's do that. Uh, for right now, oops, sorry for the, for the darkness, guys, here, I'll throw up a torch right here. There we go. Oops. Forgot my torches up there. Pardon the, the darkness for a moment. 
Don't hear anybody down there. We'll check in just a second, though. And I think this passageway is far enough back right now to not have a whole lot of light. I hear you down there, but nobody's here. So let's light this up while we build in there. So there's a zombie someplace near here. All right. So let's get to building. Right now we can light this up. We still have a day... Well, day and a half. Took me 10 minutes to get up here. All right. It is what it is. All right. So the baffle will go right along here. And then uh, maybe I'll make the... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do this. We'll make this the walkway down here. And then... Oh, there's a spot just over here someplace. I can hear them just through there. Uh, we'll make this the, the baffle. So if we have a door here and a good solid light, solid wall from here, then hopefully uh, they won't see the light from down below. We'll see how well that works. But in the meantime, it's can I build something kind of interesting? And if I get a chance, I'll go ahead and kill that zombie spy there we go all right so back in this area will be I don't know why I put all that floor there so what do I have uh, so this is where I'm gonna need to make my home I'll try not to lighten the video anymore than I need to And I will send my reports in by carrier sheep and let them know what's going on with the army. All right, let's take this back one more here. So we're going to need a room to live in, make it sort of nice. We're going to need a room for a uh, farm. Over time, I'd want to put in even a tree farm so I have wood and stuff up here. Uh, I can also extend out that way and then dig down into that little area behind my temporary hut. Uh, since mobs don't tend to, to mine or dig, that would probably be a safe place. Maybe I can go down there and listen to them. And uh, get, collect the reports of Bob and Bob. Um, we're all seven today. Is that fishy? What's my food situation? I don't even know. Uh, let's go with this right now. All right. Take this back one more. Um, there we go. To make this sort of the main living space. All right. So I was finally taking the opportunity to catch up with a few folks' videos, and honestly, I don't have the time to catch everybody I'd like to. Uh, but I was catching up with, uh, I've caught up on a couple of baddies, a uh, couple of, of uh, cherries and uh, cherry bitters, and I was catching up on some of Jade's videos, and uh, there's a bunch of others I want to try to catch up on. And that's half the fun of AMHC, is seeing how everybody else is doing. Uh, I'm going to need a shovel. Yep, let's go ahead and just make these tools. Let's just go hard in it. Uh, and I was listening to Jade tell her ghost stories, and I thought that was uh, pretty funny. Um, and I realized I don't remember having... I certainly don't recall... Uh, having the kind of experiences that, that Jade talks about. I grew up in Idaho and whatnot, but as a kid... Um, nothing to... Uh, too spooky happening to us. I don't remember being all that, you know, uh, scared by stuff as a kid. Uh, I don't, don't want that one right now. I want that. There we go. Um, you know, in scary games and stuff, scary movies, they don't do much for me. Uh, jump scares that have been kind of big in the States recently with Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, it doesn't do much for me. I don't, I don't, they don't tend to bother me. Um, uh, 
I'm not sure I see the sense of the game. If you know something's going to jump out and scare you, uh, why does it surprise us? <laughs> um, I mean, sometimes it does. Uh, but I've just never really kind of gotten those kind of games. I've never really been into horror movies. That kind of thing. Uh, but I do like ghost stories. I do like reading ghost stories. I tend to like the uh, romantic or tragic ghost stories. Uh, there's some great ghost stories. I'm, I'm a big railroad fan. Uh, and there's some great ghost stories about railroads and whatnot. Um, you know, usually some poor railroad worker trying to save a doomed train about to crash and kill everybody, that kind of thing. Um, and then the others I like are sort of the doomed lovers, the, the Romeo and Juliet kind of concept. I remember sitting in a forest in um, Santa Cruz, California, where I went to school, and uh, listening to the wind through the through the trees. You know, we were with some friends, and we were talking about how I'd make a great story as the the, the wind sighing through the the trees was actually the calls of, you know, a lost lover looking for his his beloved and some tragic story. You know, so the, that kind of ghost story, I'm, I'm a big fan of that kind of thing. Uh, but I won't try to tell anything right now. I don't. I don't know that I have a memory for any of them. We're getting all ready for Halloween. My son's a, a big fan of Halloween. He's at the the right age for Halloween. It's a, a lot of excitement loves costumes he loves dressing up and play acting with his friends and all that stuff so it's a lot of, it's a fun time it's a neat time to to be alive and have fun with have fun with friends and family so we're gonna go and have some fun all right so I'm gonna clear this spot out for a farm because I need to get something growing again. I'm going to have any food. And my time is quickly disappearing here. That's alright. Got one more day after this. We'll, we'll get as far as we can, make it as homey and comfortable as we can. That reminds me I need to um, go in and uh, start cooking some things while I'm at it. I didn't bring up my furnaces, that's right. Set right now. Because I'm going to want to cook up some of this. Uh, right. I'm moving as needed so I can make some flower pots. I'm going to need something nice up here. Alright. So we're going to make this into our um, garden area. And with enough lights in here, we'll be good to go. If I'd had a chance to go and get the pumpkins, I understand there are some someplace, other intelligences told us that, uh, then that would have been a, a very good thing to, to grab. Let's see. Three and four. So this is where the water's going to go. I'll just mark it with that right now. We need to go out two more this direction. And um, could have done uh, some jack o' lanterns. That would also have been good. They give off some of the better light in the game. Uh, they give out, I think, one higher than the, the torches, but I can't recall. I'd have to go check again. I looked it up recently, but uh, I've already forgotten. Try to light things up here. What do I need? I need one more. Yeah, okay. And this has been a, a staple of my play as is, is I... Um, let me use this guy real quick. Uh, whenever I go mining, I create a little uh, garden area like this. Uh, underground just so I don't have to keep running all the way back up to to get what I need. I think let's um let's stop with this right now. One, two, three, but uh, just take this. I'll do this half of the um, 
garden area. And I'll leave the rest for later if I if I get to it or if I survive and want to play in afterwards. But I always create some kind of a garden and while I'm mining and doing the other things, it's uh, it's always a great source of food, makes it easy. You don't have to run all the way back up just to get food. Uh, I tend to like to make relatively self-sufficient mining um, setups. Alright, we'll go ahead and put those down while we're at it. So I don't remember where this is now. Made that made that uh, shovel and now I'm not using it. Boom. Alright, hit the water. Oops. Where'd I go? There we go. Nope. Wrong still. Oh. That's what I meant to do. Uh, let's go ahead and make that's the other thing I need to do. Let's go ahead and make our infinite water supply back here. We're going to need it. Um, we'll put it. Let's see. I'm going to do it right here. Do I have, um, that's okay. Let's just do, uh, yes. Okay, good. That. I can always move it if I need to. That. There we go. And I don't think I have a... Well, I should have a, have a hoe if I made one down below. Sure enough, there we go. And we'll try... This newfangled farming that Professor Batty talks about. Let me tell you, we have Banker... Uh, Mr. Michael the Banker. And in my case, he's also... The general. And we've got Professor Batty. All kinds of things we're learning. We've got uh, our storyteller Jade. A bit of everything. And I, I don't even know most of the folks. I haven't been able to catch most of the videos. So let's get this stuff planted. Uh, but we have quite a quite a quite a crew. Good start. No potatoes, right? Nothing else to plant. Oh, all right. Um, so, quite an interesting little crew. It makes up our MS MHC. Um, well, I don't think that's going to be. I just realized that's probably not what I want because they'll be. They need two rows. Uh, you know, two fallow row rows on either side. You know, one there and one there. Then this is the way I'll need to plant these guys right now. All right, and then I can use this to build a little fishing pond. All right, excellent. Work is progressing. Work is progressing. Uh, what else do I need? Got a ton of wood. All right, so that is our. This will be our garden, and we'll I'll probably adjust it to go this way once we're done, so I'm not walking over as much. That's our little. Watering hole for right now. Oh, I hate when I do that. And I'm stubborn enough, I gotta fill it in. And we'll make some of this nicer if we get. Oh. <sighs> Haste makes waste, as they say. Alright, so, we'll probably want to get out of here. Alright. This a little cleaner, a little nicer. Leave that section. And take that. Pretty nice high ceiling. We'll plant plenty of light in here. There we go. All right. And oh, geez, I went way over my day. Okay. Well, we'll call this episode right here. And. Uh, wasn't even paying attention to how quickly these days go. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. This one's going to run a little long, and the next day will run a little short. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.